Thank you for staying with us on The Pulse. Now time for the sport. And in the last 30 to 45 minutes, it's been confirmed that there will be the case of an ex. Zinedine Zidane will be going to the club he left only recently after a spectacular trophy haul with Real Madrid. As you know, Santiago Solari has found it difficult to break through in all the competitions with last 10 days or last 14 days being particularly difficult for him. They exited everything. So, quickly, we get an idea of what it means for him to come back by confirming it. But first of all, in studio with me is Uruku Ampofo. Thank you for your time. Thank you to you, Gary. Your first reaction, first reaction. Yes or no? Good uh, decision? Uh, it's, it's a tough one, and I must say that... I said from, one reaction. Well, <laughs> I think it's a, it's a big no for me, because... Yeah. Well, uh, when you go back to his last words when he was leaving Madrid, saying that... His ideas have been exhausted and it's time for someone with fresh ideas to motivate this club. I seem to wonder, is six months enough to get a new set of ideas to motivate um, this similar crop of players? Uh, Zidane thinks he does have it and I'm told that if he is going to come back, which looks very likely now, um, it's going to be based on some terms and that includes getting some control on the club, especially on the players that leave and the players that come in. Hold a thought. Let's get an idea of where things stand. Guillaume Balaguer is a Spanish football expert and on his Twitter feed, we'll be making this as social media friendly as possible. Let's get his thoughts on the move. Confirm it. First with the news was uh, Josep Pedrerol in Los Fogones. Uh, he heard probably from the top, uh, as he's got a very good relationship with uh, Florentino Pérez, that Zinedine Zidane will be in charge of Real Madrid from today. Uh, he probably will take the team training tomorrow. There'll be a board meeting today and that will confirm the sacking of uh, Solari and also the confirmation of Zidane. Uh, just quickly, first reaction is that, of course, that may mean difficulties for Gareth Bell. He didn't end up very well with uh, Zidane. Uh, Sergio Ramos will have his authority reinforced. Zidane also wants the likes of Hazard and perhaps even Eriksen to decide. Uh, he will get all, uh, given uh, all the sporting authority and all the things that he suggested in the summer that uh, Florentino Perez did not want to do. Most of them will be done now. He is coming in with the idea of not just uh, managing the side, but also managing the decisions for the first team of Real Madrid. So, fascinating days ahead. Fascinating days ahead, starting from tomorrow when he takes the reins of the team in their first training session. Zinedine Zidane is back. You were saying? Yeah, I was saying that in terms of um, the you know control over that dressing room and um, the type of players that he wants in and the, you know, the players that he wants out. I think, for starters, we do know that Gary Bill's career at Real Madrid has to all but come to an end because we do remember that in the Zidane reign, um, Bill was not really utilized in his form. But things have changed. The players have changed. Yeah, the players have changed, but you still think that Zidane would revert to his diamond system that served him so well, the 4 1 2 1 2 that brought the best out of the likes of Casemiro and Luka Modric. I think that he would go back to that. And without the width, you still struggle to find a place um, in the team for Gareth Bale. Um, you know, so that means that Bale probably will be leaving in the summer. But one player who would be smiling and really, really smiling big is Isco. And he has been, uh, you know, cut out of the team, especially under Solari. And he had his best seasons in Madrid under Zidane. So he would be excited to play. 32% think definitely not. Of course, I could have asked the question another way, whether Zidane is taking the right decision by coming back. But uh, I'll be doing that later. Oreo Kwampofo, thank you very much for thank your you time. Thank you, Gary. Yes, so we'll be continuing the discussion later because it's just broken. I'm Gary Al Smith, and that's the spot for now.